dear students already we have seen two drugs under anti tb agents now we are going to see the third one that is called ethambutol from the name itself we can say eth that is ethyl am for amino butol means butanol so three are present here that is ethyl amino butanol so ethane ethane is there amino group is there and butanol would be there so now we'll see the structure see this ch2 nh ch ch2 oh here ch2 ch3 same ch2 nh ch ch2 ch3 ch2 oh so if one having oh means that can be considered as alcohol so here it is having four carbons that why butanol having two butanol groups so two butanol this is called ethane and that ethane is attached with anything means that can be ethane one yl but these two ethanes i mean uh, these two carbons no that would be connected so that's why ethane one two diyl so this is butanol this is also butanol two butanol this is ethane with the two substitutions that's why all are substituted at second position of that butanol so 2 2 dash 2 2 dash ethane 1 2 this is 1 this is 2 1 2 diyl diamino 2 butanol that's why bis but 1 butanol dihydrochloride why it is 1 butanol the OH is attached in the first position that's why 1 butanol dihydrochloride so again again I'll tell the structure that is CH2NH CH CH2OH CH2CH3 same CH2NH CH CH2CH3 CH2OH that's all now we'll see the next drug The next drug is pyrazine amide. What is pyrazine? Six member drink with two nitrogens at one four that can be called as pyrazine. It is having an isomer that is called pyrimidin. What is pyrimidin? Pyrimidin is same six member drink with two nitrogen atoms but the nitrogen may be at one and three that may be called pyrimidin. This is called pyrazine. Pyrazine means six member drink with two nitrogens at one four. This is called pyrazine and having amide at second position. What is amide? CONH2 amide or carboxamide. So simple. Pyrazine amide means pyrazine nucleus with amide in second position. This is called pyrazine amide. That's why chemical name is pyrazine 2 carboxamide. Now we will see the next drug that is PASA. PASA means para amino salicylic acid, otherwise PAS. PASA means para amino salicylic acid or PAS. What is salicylic acid? Benzene ring with the COOH and in ortho portion we have OH that can be called salicylic acid. It is chemically called, I mean according to benzoic acid, OH is attached in ortho portion. So this is ortho hydroxy benzoic acid. What is salicylic acid? That is ortho hydroxy benzoic acid. Now this is para amino salicylic acid. So in the salicylic acid nucleus para portion there may be substitution of amino group that is all. So same what is that? Same salicylic acid in para portion we have NH2 that can be called para amino salicylic acid. So we can write the chemical name according to parent benzoic acid. This is benzoic acid. Benzene ring with COOH can be called benzoic acid. So how it can be written? In second portion we have hydroxy group and in fourth portion we have amino group. According to alphabetical order which will come first, amino will come first. That is why 4 amino 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. This is called pa PASA that is para amino salicylic acid. What is the structure for that? Benzene ring COOH and in second portion we have OH and in fourth portion we have NH2. Now we will see the synthesis of PASA. Two methods are there to synthesize this one. So, we will see the first one. The parent would be what is it? Meta nitrophenol. This you all have known. This is called phenol. Benzene ring with OH can be called phenol. Here this is ortho, this is meta. So, in meta portion it is having nitro group. That is why it is called meta nitrophenol. That meta nitrophenol undergoes reduction. Usually nitro group on reduction what you are getting? Amino group. So, first step is conversion of nitro into amino group. And second one is there may be carboxylation reaction by means of Kolb-Smith reaction. This word is very very important. This is the name reaction that is called Kolb-Smith. Kolb-Smith reaction. So, in that 
this is used for um, introduction of CO2 group that is here CO2 is attached that is why we are getting parser. So, what is the synthesis? First, we are taking meta nitrophenol that is OH and in meta portion we have a nitro group. I mean in phenol meta portion we have a nitro group that undergoes reduction. Nitro group would be reduced to amino group that undergoes carboxylation reaction by using coal bismuth reaction. Here CO2 group would be attached here and we are getting PASA. Now we will see the another method. So, in another method we are taking ortho amino benzoic acid. We have known this is benzoic acid. Benzene ring with COOH can be called benzoic acid. In ortho portion we have NH2. That is why ortho amino benzoic acid. We can name this according to NH2. I mean benzene ring with NH2 can be called aniline. It's okay. So, what it is? It can be named according to aniline that is ortho carboxy aniline. So, two names it is having one is ortho amino benzoic acid that is according to benzoic acid. According to aniline it is ortho carboxy aniline. So, now we have taken that ortho amino benzoic acid that undergoes nitration or nitration you we have known that these are the nitrating agents that is nitric acid with sulfuric acid. On nitration what happens this portion of that para portion that would be nitrated we are getting nitro group. Then on reaction with NaNO2 and HCl, HCl Actually, what would be the reaction of that aromatic nitro group on reaction with NaNO2 and HCl? What you are getting? What is the name of the reaction? That is called diacetization reaction. Sorry, this one aromatic amino group with NaNO2 and HCl. What is the reaction that can be called diacetization reaction? That NH2 no, that should be converted to N2Cl. That is diazonium chloride. Now, that one on reaction with water, what happens? That uh, here we have water, no, so 2H with 1O, that H combines with Cl and removed as HCl, and that N2, no, that is also removed. Then now the left group is OH, that is attached here, that is why we are getting that one. And now on reduction, what happens here? That nitro group would be converted to amino group, that is why it is called. I mean, that is why it is called PASA, that is para amino uh, salicylic acid. So, once again I will tell the reaction. So, first we have taken ortho amino benzoic acid that undergoes nitration. This portion of that is nitrated and that one undergoes diazonium reaction that is by means of NaNO2 and HCl that NH2 that would be converted to diazonium chloride and on hydro, uh, hydrolysis what happens that HCl would be removed and N2 would be removed in that portion we are getting OH and the last step is reduction. On reduction that nitro group would be reduced to amino group. So, we have seen two methods for synthesizing PASA. So, here we have used meta nitrophenol undergoes reduction followed by carboxylation reaction we are getting PASA. Here we have taken ortho amino benzoic acid first step is nitration, diazotization, hydroxylation, reduction. So, four steps nitration, diazotization, hydroxylation and reduction and finally we are getting PASA. Now, we will see the next drug. that is called streptomycin. Streptomycin is an amino glycoside antibiotic. Okay. Here it is having three parts. You see the structure. So, this one can be called N-methyl L-glucosamine. Listen, without that CH3NH, without that it can be called glucose. I mean, uh, without CH3 it can be called glucosamine. I'm, uh, instead of one nitrogen here methyl group is attached that is why it is called N-methyl L-glucosamine. Actually uh, that uh, CH3NH no you remove that and that can be called as glucose. Okay. With that we have only NH, NH2 means that can be called glucosamine. In that by replacing hydrogen with methyl that can be called N-methyl L-glucosamine. So, this is called N-methyl L-glucosamine and this is called streptidin. Here, why it is called streptidin? Because of the presence of NH, C double bond NH, NH2. So, what it is? We have known NH2, CO, NH2. NH2, CO, NH2 can be called urea. Instead of oxygen, here we have sulfur means that can be called thiourea. So, what is urea? NH2, CO, NH2. This can be called urea. And instead of oxygen, here we have sulfur means that is called thiourea. Okay. Here that instead of sulfur we have NH means that can be called guanidin. So, this no this is having two guanidin structures that is why it is called streptidin that is why it is ending with din. So, what is guanidin? We have known the structure for urea that is NH2 CO NH2. So, instead of oxygen we have NH means that can be called guanidin. 
one more name is that that is called guanin that is uh, i mean that is not related with guanidine that is the base pair present in ena usually adenine combines with thymine guanin combines with cytosine that is guanin that is present in ena but this one is guanidine so what is the structure for guanidine nh2 c double bond nh nh2 so it is having two guanidine groups that's why it is called streptidine and this is no this is a sugar that can be called as streptose okay so the combination of these two no n methyl l glucosamine and um, streptose combination of these two can be called streptobiosamine so what are all present in streptomycin streptobiosamine and streptidin it is having two parts one is streptobiosamine and another one is streptidin what is present in streptobiosamine n methyl l glucosamine and streptose now we'll see the hydrolysis reaction of streptomycin streptomycin on hydrolysis what happens we have known two parts no streptobiosamine and streptidin the same thing streptobiosamine and streptidin streptidin on hydrolysis what we are getting these two parts we are getting that is n methyl l glucosamine and streptose usually we are writing only n methyl glucose l glucosamine we are not writing streptose why we are not writing means it cannot be isolated because of its instability okay now we have that a streptidin this streptidin on hydrolysis what we are getting here this place no this is be hydrolyzed and this would be removed as um, removed as urea that's why we are getting only streptamine that's all about streptomycin so what are all present in streptomycin it is having two parts one is streptobiosamine and streptidin streptobiosamine having two parts one is n methyl l glucosamine another one is streptose why it is called n methyl l glucosamine without ch3 nh it can be called glucose if you are adding only nh2 means that is called glucosamine by replacing h with ch3 it can be called n methyl because that methyl is attached with the nitrogen that's why n methyl l glucosamine okay now we'll see the last drug cycloserin this would be the structure of cycloserin five membered ring with oxygen here in, uh, here oxygen we have in next position we have nh then double bond o here nh2 so before going to see this first we have known what is oxazole and isoxazole this is called oxazole oxazole means oxa aza it is having two hetero atoms that is oxygen and nitrogen at 1 3 means that can be called oxazole if there may be absence of one bond means that can be called oxazolin absence of two bonds means that can be called oxazolidin so what is oxazole oxazole means five membered ring with two hetero atoms oxygen and nitrogen at 1 3 can be called oxazole if they are at 1 2 that can be called isoxazole this can be called isoxazole so without one bond isoxazolin without two bonds isoxazolidin so it if it is ending with zolin there may be absence of one bond if it is ending with zolidin there may be absence of two bonds so here what is the nucleus here we are having isoxazolidin so this is isoxazolidin and if you are going to number this means we have to know the priority order for hetero atom this would be the priority order o s n here we have two hetero atoms only o and n so in that two oxygen is getting higher priority that's why this is one this is two so numbering would be from uh, from oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 what are all attached with isoxazolidin third portion we have a ketone and in fourth portion we have amino so whenever we are having ketone that um, that should indicate a suffix called one o n e one we can write it as isoxazolidin 3 one or 3 isoxazolidone whatever we can write so in fourth portion we have amino group so four amino three isoxazolidone otherwise four amino isoxazol isoxazolidin 3 one we can write so up to this i have completed anti tubercular agents